So I'm here with Sean George of Elite Lighting Designs on this incredible project and all the beautiful lights from this man. This was an incredibly fast project for you. Got called in kind of at the last minute. Absolutely, and if you can believe it or not, for a project that is a two to three year build, they did not have a lighting design, anything conceptually built, even from the controls inside out. When we got called in with uh, basically one month to go. Uh, landscaping had already started, we were behind, uh, and we came in, and fortunately enough, the owners gave us a lot of creative detail, and the landscape architect that we got to work with was really well. And we came in and put a design to it. Notice that there was a few key concept areas, especially around the pool that we're talking about, where they were just gonna use a traditional sconce light or a flood light that's up in, in there. And when we brought this to the attention of the homeowner, they were like, no, we can't do this. And so we added some of these really beautiful step lights and wall lights in here where you don't see the light sources. Um, it gives you that ambience, that soft, subtle lighting so that you can come and use the space without having to turn all these overhead lights on to be able to entertain or even just to see and enjoy the night skies. And I, I really appreciate the fact that when, when you use light that doesn't hit you in the eyes, you can have a conversation. If you turn toward the lighting in this patio, it's all even. You don't have to be having your eyes adjust to different types of light. And even the full lighting, you can actually see the depth in it because you're not over lighting the rest of it. But you know, you're, you're being humble. You were, you, I know that they didn't know what they needed until you were here. And I think that's what really makes a difference in having a lighting design team and or a lighting designer as opposed to just someone throwing a light, an electrician, right. nothing, exactly. we're electrician by trade, but the designer makes a big difference. Um, not only can we control the brightnesses, the glare, the light pollution, even the coloring, things of that nature that we get into by keeping man-made objects warm where you can see them and then using different tones into the landscape and making that more soft and so forth. Well, I gotta say what I appreciate, first of all, is that it's easy to see out here. But second of all, this is an incredible architecture project that you highlight at night. Whereas if you didn't do what you did, the architecture would kind of disappear and you just have lights focusing on a patio, which is a nice patio, but it's not everything that this, this experience being out here gives you. And, and you highlight the architecture in very subtle ways that accentuates it and makes it stand out very subtly at night. You know what's really neat to me is that you can take a house and drive by during the day and there will be things like whether it be um, towers or portables or um, even different stones, the way they're set, um, bricks even, where they will do it on, on the little, um, where they have the, uh, I offsets, and the, the offsets and the coins, coins yeah. that I was looking for. And then at the daytime, yeah, you can tell it's there, but if you see that at night with the right light on it, it emphasizes and brings it out so it much looks, more. It looks more dramatic. It really does. It yeah. enhances those architectural features that you really don't even see as much. Well, the shadows created on this architecture because the step-offs in the, in the stone and the floating barges that are existing, you really hit all those so beautifully with your light. And, and I love where you've done symmetry and asymmetry as well. And um, it takes a lot to get columns to light up like you did and look like they're completely even. And we're doing it usually sometimes if it's an existing home where it's after the fact. So we've got landscape, you know, we've got this, or we've got different features that we've got to work around. It's always nice to get in in the beginning and be able to do it. There's this battle that always happens between the landscapers and the lighting guys where their plant is like, why is your, your light in the way of my plant? Why is your plant in the way of my light? Exactly. Things like that. Well, you really <laughs> had to work with that on this project because it was happening all at the same time. All at the same time, without, without, us, you know, without the real direction, you, you put it all together, pulled it all together, and I know when you walked with the clients just a little while ago, they loved it all. And that's, that's incredible for a project of this size. And I think that's the greatest joy. And that's the one thing that I think that most, and we've been in business now for 29 years, 25 years. Um, I've been doing it for 29 years, but a lot of our um, crews have been with us for 10, 15 years, or foremen and so forth. 
but the, the, the finish the project at night, and, and I never have understood this, we, we talk about with other customers, well did that other lighting company come in and walk it with me at night, and do a nighttime walkthrough for final adjustments where we can make things softer, we can make things brighter, um, just by changing out some parts, things of that nature, move a light, add a light, all of those things, but if you get to see it at night, it, for me, I can walk a job in the daytime, and I know exactly what it's going to look like in the nighttime. They don't. Absolutely not at all. And yeah. then you bring them out at night, and, and another great fact is that I can take the same house, the same light, and move it two to three different ways, and like you brought up earlier. If we want to shadow something, it'll give you a different effect. If you're going to silhouette something, it'll give you a different effect. Just with, the, with one light moving it here or there. So it can really make a big difference not only in how you do it, the safety, security, or beauty, but also in being able to play and enjoy and yeah. hang out with the pets and the kids yeah. and the dogs and all. Well, you've impressed me, and this is just a great example, a stunning example of what y'all do, and, and I'm so glad we got to be here at night with you to talk about it, to see it, to, to illustrate to all the people that want detail. This is detail. Absolutely. In order to help us when we get to work with builders like yourself and get involved earlier in the game and make it a, a, a forethought, not an afterthought, right. unfortunately. Because exactly. there are certain things, where, especially when you're starting to deal with in remodels and you're talking about controls and light switches and bringing power to certain places, things of that nature. Oh, yeah. so. You've got to be there at the beginning to get the best effect, either that or somebody's got to got to really be willing to pause and let you do your thing as they did in this case and, and you know credit to to them for letting and trusting in you and congratulations on a wonderful job thank you very very much and look forward to many more and thank y'all